guys, hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be just covering uh, how to set up proper animations and uh, fix this issue right here where your meshes are just kind of doing weird stuff um, when they're really actually supposed to be pivoting on a different axis. So uh, as you can see here, basically what's happening is when the entity starts walking, uh, the rotation or quote unquote the, the bones or another word for it is pivot points aren't properly aligned where they would technically be or are supposed to be so uh, for this particular model um, if you look at this guy's uh, we're going to call him Bob uh, the pivot point kind of needs for the arms need to be right at the axis right at the top here center of the 4x4 area so the pivot properly uh, the legs usually are good right at the top surface um, right connected to the part of the mesh that uh, you want it to pivot around. So for example, um, if we hop into the block bench, I'll be able to explain it a little bit more. So let's hop out of here and we'll just uh, minimize that for now. We'll open up this. So as you can see, this is a typical layout for your um, your actual models, you have your head uh, element here, you have your right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and a chest component. Uh, for the most part, uh, the head and everything should be fine, but if you want to optimize it a little bit more, uh, what you can do is if you right click on the, the bone itself, uh, by default it's called bone, it's always best to rename it so you know what it is. Um, it will add a extra, extra line of settings up here called pivot point and right now it's at zero zero so where zero zero is is right here right below right between the two feet at the mesh like the grid part so what we want to do is we want to uh, calculate uh, how far up we want to bring it uh, we want to keep it centered so what we want to do is uh, adjust the y-axis and as you can see uh, a little bit you can kind of see the blue um, little blue axis there every time we increase it it goes up so we want that part to reach the underline of the actual entity's head so if we move this up just a little bit you'll be able to see um, that the axis is right on the uh, right underneath the head center of the model so every time the uh, model for the head gets rotated uh, what's going to happen is uh, if we just quickly rotate it as you can see it's rotating around the, the actual pivot point so if we go downwards now and upwards as you can see it kind of goes up and down so this is a great way to test if um, rotation for your arms and stuff are properly set up is just by moving the pivot point just testing to see if the rotations are properly set up and then you can just set it back to zero when you're all done so for the arms as I was saying um, rotations are a little bit different uh, for this case um, you want to kind of think of the bones as actual physical bones in a skeleton structure so for example, uh, right here would be the shoulder blade. So what we want to do is we want to select the group for the right arm. And what we want to do is move this over towards the arm itself. So it should be right about there, I guess. And then what we're going to do is ra raise it up. So it's center, make sure it's center always and we're just going to bring it up to the top to start with and as you can see right here it is centered there's a axis going right along here so what we're going to do is lower it uh, where it's centered to the actual arm so we're going to go one and then two so it's centered to this little square part that should keep it at a good level so we're going to go one two and it should be centered right here now if we rotate the uh, pivot point, as you can see, the arm's actually rotating properly now. 
Um, yeah, so this is the pivot point. We don't want to do that. So I'm just going to undo. And we're just going to adjust this. So as you can see, the arm rotates now properly. And you might come into some problems with that. Um, you might need to adjust it as you um, continue working on the model. So for example, if they're punching like that, you might want to adjust it so it's uh, two over, uh, let's see here. We'll set everything back to zero. Make sure that you do that always. And then what we're gonna do is go back to the group And why is the pivot point over there? The pivot point's way over here. That's that's weird. Okay, I thought we set that. Okay, so let's try this again. It needs to be negative six. I think what happened is we undid, uh, adjusted the pivot point and it was a little bit off. So if we go like that, as you can see, it works. And then if we go like this, it looks pretty good. Um, now, another thing that you could do is you could offset it uh, two blocks that way so if we set this back to zero and again always make sure to set your settings to zero before uh, adjusting the pivot point again so you want to set this to zero and set this to zero as well and then we're going to go like that just to test to see if if up against the actual arm is a good location and what we can do now is rotate it so this looks good that looks all right so again the arms aren't going to be totally rotating on these axes either in most cases um, when you're setting up your animations it's just going to be going along one axis so if you want your arms to swing back and back and forth like this, then you're going to have uh, your north and uh, north and south axis. So that would be your z uh, coordinates to rotate. So uh, for example, this would be the way it would be rotating. So that looks fine. So let's do the other one for this, and I'll cut back in when I'm done. Okay, so I've offsetted the um, pivot points where they're in the center of the actual square, just because it's not gonna really matter too much if um, the different rotations, like if, um, for example, they start rotating this way or anything like that, it's probably best to always set it up center to what's relevant, so uh, for example, if we're rotating it on this axis, the y-axis, as you can see, it's going to rotate like that. It's going to look okay. Um, if we were to rotate it this way and that way, it's still going to look okay. And if we're going to rotate it this way, it's still going to look okay. So we're going to be rotating it on the x-axis anyways. So, or the, it should be actually the z-axis, isn't it? Um, so that's not going to matter too much. So now moving on to the feet. Uh, if we were to select the group right now and start rotating the actual model on the z-axis, you can see the legs kind of go all over the place. They're going like all uh, poltergeist on people. So uh, what we need to do is we actually need to set the pivot point to be right at the top uh, surface of the leg to touch the, um, the actual chest part. So what we need to do for that is center the, um, the actual pivot point so it's on the proper leg. So this is that leg here. So what we wanna do is center it. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to increase the Y axis until we reach uh, the surface, which is right here, right at the seam there. And now if we rotate it, as you can see, the leg properly rotates uh, with the proper rotation. So as you can see, that's how it's all set up. And we're just gonna do that for the other leg and then I'll cut back in on setting up the animations. 
All right, before I forget, it's always a good idea to rename your cubes as well to uh, cube one, cube two, cube three, cube four, and cube five, and cube six, or how many cubes you have, always add an extra, a different uh, ID to it, just so it's uh, properly set up. And uh, texturing, that's no big deal. So uh, what we're gonna do is quickly uh, export, and I'll see you back in to M. So if we go to the resource tab or resources and then go to 3D models, what we need to do is replace the, um, the actual model that we made for our uh, character. So we're just going to delete that. And then what we're gonna do is quickly import the new one. And then we're gonna be presented with the rotations and stuff. So just remember that the rotations are relative relative to the X, Z, and Y axis. So if we, uh, for head, if we select the head animation, uh, that's always a, probably a good idea for making your models and stuff like that. So um, you can set up the head animation as much as you want, but for this particular model, because it is humanoid or, you know, something like a vanilla head, we're just gonna select the head animation. Uh, for the right arm, um, now by default, uh, the top animations here from left to right, uh, so left arm, right arm, left leg, and right leg are um, all the basic um, animations that you would need for a regular Steve model. Uh, down here, you have your y-axis. Uh, these are the ones that rotate on the y-axis, so they kind of rotate around. Uh, um, for example, um, if we were to spin it uh, on the y-axis here, uh, that's the pivot point, the y-axis, as you can see, this is what's going to happen if we set it to the y-axis. So that's basically what's going on with that one. And if we select a Z axis uh, down here, uh, that would be the, oops, the Z axis. So the Z axis is the one that rotates this way. So you might want to uh, set it up for that particular rotation if you needed it. And then there's some other animations down here as well. Uh, constant X, Y, and Z uh, coordinates. Um, those are basically the um, constantly moving, they're always um, constantly swinging back and forth and stuff like that. And then there's the slow version of it. And then there's uh, different uh, head um, uh, yaw and pitch. So yaw and pitch is uh, basically um, the uh, a specific type of rotation. I, I can't really remember exactly. You have to play around with these, but this is for the uh, rotate for the heads. Um, I think yaw is around where pitch is up and down or something like that. I would have to quickly check that. Uh, yaw and pitch rotation. So if we look at this example here, um, you have your roll, which is around like that. Your yaw is would be on your y-axis, and your pitch would be on your the the rotation that goes around. Okay, so when you get your animation set up, what you want to do is just set animations, and you should be good to go. It's always good to uh, regenerate the model that. Uh, connected to the actual file so just uh, go in there and click generate you can also hit the um, regenerate button uh, basically just clicking on that and setting it will just build it but if you want to regenerate the code you can always click the orange button right up at the top here and the last thing is to actually test to see if the model's working so we'll just quickly hop in game and I will show you uh, what we've basically done to fix that issue so just give me a second. So if we kind of watch Steve now, as you can see, his animations are pretty normal. He's walking a little bit weird, um, but that's just the, the way the AI works. But you can see that the, uh, anim the actual pivot points are 
properly set up for this particular model now. If we punch him, you can see he just kind of books it properly. And uh, yeah, so that's basically how you set up pivot points and make sure that your models are, um, you know, properly uh, using bones and stuff like that. But uh, if you found this video useful, definitely comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.